you all right there ladies and gents how's it going we're out green lane in again I'm out with uh, Big Pezzer as usual he's uh, just behind me I think and then Andrew as well on his DRZ 400 um, yeah it should be a nice morning I don't know how long we're going to stay out uh, we'll have see how it goes because uh, we're not sure what the weather's going to be doing today oh they're right on my tail I've got my new tyres on today, I've got my uh, tubular system fitted as well so this is my first go at seeing what it's like I was quite impressed that the rear had held pressure no problem at all while it was stored in my garage um, yeah the rear held its pressure fine, it was 105 psi this morning when I went down to the bike to check it out and uh, the front had dropped some, it was down to about 70 uh, so uh, I pumped them up and the bladders and then uh, just got their road pressures in, I've got 15 psi in the uh, the tyres themselves oh oh wee, it's a nice day keep that bike from down alright, what have we got here oh it's all drained it's been a while since I've seen that with nothing in it now I know what it looks like <laughs> I don't know why I'm avoiding the mud I've got brand new tyres on um, but I'm not going through that. That's stinky. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Still got them right behind me. Good. Sometimes I feel like I'm going really fast, and then like everyone's sitting there right on my arse, saying, "Come on, get a move on." <laughs> and other times I think I'm just pooling along and Pez will be vanished into the distance behind me somewhere but yeah so far tyres seem alright I might well drop the pressures on them later on I had a comment on my last off-roady video by someone uh, when I mentioned talking to the guy on the BMW about standing up and stuff um, and they were saying that uh, you don't have to stand up all the time um, and stuff like that saying it saves energy uh, but it's weird, uh, although yes, when I'm on the tarmac I'll sit down riding this because I can sit at the back of the seat and um, it's more comfortable at the back because it's one of them seat concept ones. Uh, I actually find it generally more energy saving to stand up and I don't know whether that's just because I've brainwashed myself into doing so with all the um, time I've spent standing up on the bike. I forced myself to do it basically on my beater out from the off whenever I was on trails and I did that purely to kind of learn the balance of the bike better um, and I feel generally happier standing up cyclists they can get on their side of the road Sunny Jim it's a road it's a road mate it's a road Uh, so the tyres I've got fitted are the Michelin Enduro Mediums which I very much got on well with um, which came as standard on the bike and uh, I was uh, when going with the tubular system I was a bit worried that they were the wrong tyre choice because a few people had said to me that they were not the best tyre choice because they haven't got such stiff sidewalls and I'm like okay that sucks because I've bought them now <laughs> um, but I did a bit more research and a lot of people actually said no they're great with it um, so uh, it's all to be seen, it's all an experiment isn't it and if uh, it all works out badly, if the tubular system stays working I'll change the tyres and if uh, the tyres work but the tubular system doesn't then maybe I'll take that out and switch back to tubes um, yeah, I do wish we had less tarmac to do between the trails because then I could just go mooses which would be the easiest thing to do in the world much easier than both tubeless and tyres um, in the tubes yeah yeah all the water's mostly drained away now so it's all pretty easy there is one that hasn't Wee sploosh <laughs> yeah I feel like toad of toad hall 
<laughs> poop poop <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I look at my riding now, and don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to tell you I'm very good or anything like that, I'm, I'm not, I'm an average trail rider. Um, but compared to how I was a few years ago, when I first got that Beta Alp 4.0, um, cheers chaps! Um, yeah, it's a world of difference. Uh, I know this motorcycle flatters me it really does um, but that beater out was no no rubbish motorcycle I still miss it I still very much miss it well, I very much have loved to have kept it splooshies we like splooshies splooshy mcsplooshy oh yeah yeah it definitely feels a lot harsher ride with um, the pressures I've got in there so much grip, grip forever see I thought it would be like the other way around I thought if uh, you didn't have the inner tubes adding a little bit of thickness to the the tyres that they would uh, be a bit more squishy um, but obviously not or at least not at the pace I ride at maybe if I was hoarding duro <laughs> look at this this is all graded as well Jeez, it's all like a road, isn't it? Look at us, we're all formation riding. It's a cool little bridge, this. Boop, 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 boop. I'm glad they haven't graded all of this. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's nice that they're preserving the lanes. It's just, you don't want to preserve them too much. These are supposed to be unmaintained roads. So uh, we kind of want them to be a little bit rough and rugged, don't we? Oh, yeah. I feel so at home on this bike these days. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know when that happened. Um, it's not like I've ridden it a million times, done a million miles on it or anything like that. But I just feel at home. It feels like it's my motorcycle. Um, yeah, and I'm sure having the suspension set up for me and having it lowered and stuff has all really, really helped um, massively in confidence levels to get me to the point where I feel at home on the bike. Um, yeah, but it's so nice feeling like the bike is yours. Ugh. Nice to see a trials event going on there. I really need to go and see what that's all about at some point. Not necessarily there, just somewhere. But there is there. <laughs> I'm not allowed to do it on this. They only like trials bikes there, I think. I'm not sure whether it's the tyres or whether it's the bikes. And there is one thing I've noticed as a downside to uh, fitting the tubeless system to this bike. Um, and it's not a mega one because uh, it's not something that affects the environment I want to be riding the bike in, just the environment I have to when travelling between lanes. Um, above 40 miles an hour, I tend to get a little bit of a weave from the bars, um, and that's uh, due to the wheel not being in balance with the tubeless system fitted. Oh, we've got people up ahead. Doggos. Oh, yeah, sorry to make you jump. Oh yeah. She looked like a woman I used to know from back when I was a spotty youth. Probably not her, but if it is, she's looking all right for her age. Um, but yeah, so the wheels uh, could do with being balanced, um, but the amount of hardware in the wheel 
Um, I imagine it would take quite a lot of weight to to balance that wheel out. Only really need to the front. Um, and to be honest, with the sort of abuse these motorbikes get, it wouldn't necessarily be the easiest things to keep them weights staying in place. So I'll probably just not bother. Right then, let's go grab a brew at Newlands Corner, shall we? Look at that view. Look at that view. Just look at that. Lovely jubbly. Woof. Oh yeah. That's good timing. And it's a Sunday. So there isn't any. Apart from the cars, that's lovely that is. Food! <laughs> Alright, let's get snacks. Dinner. Is it dinner? I don't know what time it is, but food. Alright, well that is some lunch noshed. And myself a nice large bacon butty with extra bacon in it and some chips which I poured half of them over the floor because it's blowing an absolute hoodie it's proper windy up here proper windy um, but look at that view it's gorgeous this is a bit of a, a non-lane these days but that view is always worth having the cameras on for so pretty up here it really really is um, but yeah so I've got some warm food inside me and a nice cup of coffee um, and uh, we had a good little natter and put the world to rights and all that sort of stuff um, and now onwards, onwards with the rest of the day. It's kind of cool going out the back. Um, good to see how other people ride and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, you see, it's nice being able to go at whatever pace you want to um, from the front. But actually, you may as well be riding by yourself if you're disappearing off into the sunset. I was watching uh, Walking on Eggshells' channel the other day and um, they're two Aussie adventure riders, uh, a man and female couple um, and uh, they're going around this trail and went round, he went round a little bit wide on a corner and coming up the other way straight at him was a, a big old pickup truck um, and they clipped each other. Fortunately. He didn't get hurt, but oh man, it made me wince seeing it happen. Um, yeah, I thought it was going to be seriously in a lot of pain from that one. Um, but yeah, so it was, it was good to see it didn't cause any problems and uh, no harm was done really. Um, but yeah, scary stuff. Uh, so that's why I got a little bit antsy about those bicyclists earlier on who uh, were on the wrong side of the lane. Now I get when there's no one coming, it doesn't matter what side you're on. When there's someone coming at you, so you've got to get on your own side of the road. Um, yeah, I mean it is sometimes difficult on tough terrain, sand and stuff, you can't always get out of the rut you're in and things like that. Um, so I understand that it's not always easy for the cyclists to do so, but their bicycles don't weigh anything. Um, and if they can't change their course, they could pick their bike up and just move it to the correct side of the road I had no problem stopping for them but just, yeah, yeah just one of them things made me think about it made me think about it oh I like this lane I feel like I'm riding a little bit too close to them all um, but it probably makes for a more interesting footage for you seeing the bikes up ahead of us Pez is doing a good pace along here considering narrow it is um, yeah yeah it's kind of cool kind of cool it's a nice little climb it's just a steady climb it's not like one of those massive hill climbs and stuff that you get um, but yeah good fun I really like this one Ooh, ding 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 with all the leaves still in it I mean we're right in the middle of winter but we've still got all the leaves down from autumn and it's hard to tell what the surface is exactly like underneath your tyres uh, but it's all pretty good really here it's all pretty good a little bit rutty in places um, but not too bad this is actually really really cool being so close to hopefully does make for some good footage for you 
I really very much am so pleased with this tubeless system so far. Um, it will be interesting to see how I get on with it long term, but so far absolutely satisfied. Uh, yeah, it's not going to necessarily suit every bike. I mean, you wouldn't really want to put it on a road bike, um, but on a dual sport bike that takes tubed tyres. Um, yeah. Yeah, I absolutely, so far, 100% recommend. It's a system that I seem to um, have been able to fit myself first go after just watching a YouTube video on how to do it. So it's not beyond the capabilities of a mediocre mechanic. Um, and uh, as far as I'm aware, the so far, the positives definitely outweigh the negatives. Um, it's just the cost side of things, which is really the main justification point that people might struggle with. But yes, uh, I am very pleased with it and the fact that I only need to carry around with me a plug kit now um, I probably should carry an inner tube as well but on this ride at least Andrew has said that he's got a spare with him and tyre levers and stuff should we need it After you So, uh, at least for this ride, um, I'm, I've got that added protection of being able to rub stuff off Andrew. <laughs> uh, but yeah, only needing a plug kit and a pump. Um, Sorry. Are you okay? That one, the last one, yeah. Okay, sorry, I didn't see you until the last minute. Oof. That's good, nice lady, nice horse, nice people. Cool, that caught me out. That horse caught me out. I stopped and I just chat chatted with them just to make sure they were okay and they're fine, absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah, no, they were good, they were gold, uh, golden. Well, as you can see, the rain has come. The rain has come. I quite like it when it's raining but that's just having a reasonably good kit which stops you getting all soggified. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with the RST stuff I've got. I think it's the same stuff as um, Biking Buddies, Paul. I think he's got similar stuff that he uses on his adventure bike. Proper pucker, absolutely beautiful. Lovely job, nice one, awesome. This little mountain bike track cut out there, I don't know how legitimate it is. Um, well, I bet that would be quite good fun to get this thing on, but we're not allowed, we're not allowed off the beaten path. They might not be either, but cyclists, they do what they want, don't they? <laughs> it was me saying earlier about the standing up, sitting down thing. I seem to be doing an awful lot of sitting down at the moment. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's kind of okay, but I'm uh, not riding at full pace, or my full pace. So, it's all gentle stuff, proper trail riding. <laughs> There's getting all squizzly up there. <laughs> and me. <laughs> wow, that's what happens when you've got dry sand getting wet. <laughs> oh man, that was a bit sketchy. I wasn't expecting this one to do that because I've got the new tyres on. Mind you, so is Andrew. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a, a bit, bit squirrely. You can't tell what happens to the back of the bike because you're up here on my face and it, it just doesn't show what's going on behind me. Um, but yeah, I had a, a proper sideways um, from both sides. A sort of proper awesomeness well, it would have been if I'd done it intentionally and uh, knew how to control it properly <laughs> fantastic <Some> brilliant <laughs> it is kind of funny and stupid of me really watching both of them have the exact same thing happen to them and then me <laughs> thinking oh I'll be alright <laughs> of course I will mate of course I will <laughs> well I was I didn't die if it's safe to do so in a minute we might be doing some cool tricks we'll have to see what happens depends if there's any people or not here don't want to be annoying the locals. But car park's clear, that's good.
jumps, tricks and skids. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Hello, doggo. Yeah, it's getting proper soggy now. And I don't mean the trail, I just mean the, the stuff falling out of the sky. So we're once again going to do this lane, finish this lane off, head down to Pisley Lane, do the water crossing, and then that will be us. Quits for the day, heading home. It's a bit misty, it's a bit misty. But I guess it's probably us in the clouds rather than mist now with how rainy it is. Oh, it is lovely around here. It's not difficult, but it is, or it feels rewarding. Oh, <laughs> fell into the rut then. Oh yeah, the wind is really, really picked up. Really picked up. Oh yeah, proper wintry weather. Well, I've had an absolutely blinding day. Thanks to Peza and Andrew for uh, leading the rides at various stages. I know I sort of took point at one point as well, but I was following directions. <laughs> um, it's been brilliant. It really has been good to get out on the bikes um, and uh, test out my tubular system, which I am absolutely stoked with how well it's performed. Um, it's been absolutely wonderful. So uh, yes, it's a it's a win on all accounts for me with a decent ride, decent people, and decent tyres. Finally got some grip again and uh, a tubular system that works. Fantastic stuff. Um, but yes, uh, I think we're going to stop here just to, for a second, and uh, I'll uh, do my clothes out. Oh yeah. <laughs> But yes, so it's goodbye from Big Pezza and it's goodbye from Andrew. They're both miserable buggers and didn't wave goodbye. Wave goodbye. So it's goodbye from Big Pezza. Uh oh. And it's goodbye from Andrew. <laughs> um, it's been an awesome day it really has been a lot of fun and uh, it's incredible how much fun you can get up to on these bikes all different sorts of motorcycles a proper dual sport a proper adventure bike and a proper enduro bike all absolutely happy as pigs in poo having a good old play so uh, thank you for joining me and uh, if you haven't done so already do click that subscribe button it would be brilliant if you came back for some more and if you like this video why not give it a little thumbs up and if you didn't you can always give it a little thumbs down I don't mind at all that's all cool in the school but please do drop in a comment I very much love hearing from you go check out Big Pez's channel there's uh, links to that probably below or at the end of this in a couple of minutes um, uh, but yeah <laughs> the internet it's all the internet <laughs> um, but anyway you ride safe take care and we should catch you all in the next one take care bye 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 for now oh yeah they look nice <laughs> knuckly can you actually uh, feel your fingers yeah. oh you've got heated grips on that bike and you didn't put them on but that but heat is heat yeah. <laughs> 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 Idiot. <laughs>